Well, just talk about what the win does, uh, Rob, when you're down by 5-2 and they come back, win the series. Well, we certainly stepped on our toe quite a bit throughout the course of the game, whether it be offensively or even on the mound. And, and for us to even keep it close and get within striking distance, really all you need to do is put together one good inning, and we did that. Had a lot of tough at-bats with two outs to set up the opportunity for Will Frizzell to come up and finish the weekend off the right way. But, uh, you know, had a couple of times, runner second base, no outs, first and second, no outs, and, and we're not able to cash in. Uh, lead off walk, stolen base, run scores, single, an error on the mound, run scores, just – and then we make an error defensively uh, there in the seventh to give them that five run lead. For us to overcome that, uh, just proud of our guys. And certainly that's a momentum gathering win for us with a week off getting ready for Auburn. How about the premonition to change second baseman's two plays before a pretty uh, amazing double play? Yeah, you just, just sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you get lucky. Coach, um, the way this season gone, how big was, you know, not only this game, but just to take this series, um, you know, moving forward in the last part of the season for you guys? Well, they all count the same. I mean, this was a, a big series win for us, and, and finally something went a little bit our way on the weekend, and Chandler Joswalk made that stand up, uh, getting us off the field there in the eighth with the bases loaded, and, and again, making a ninth clean and doing a great job. And for Will Frizzell, I mean, to get five home runs in one weekend, does that even, I mean, how do you even explain something like that? Yeah, you just can't. I mean, I was looking this morning. I don't know. I mean, been here 16 years. We've never had anybody hit that many home runs. We've had some guys close, but that was during the hot bat era. That was not with the BB core era. And, you know, he, he has had a special year. And what's going on? A big part of our success, obviously, wouldn't be where we are without him. I mean, he's – He's a rare breed of, of a great hitter and a great approach that has power. And that's the order he is. Uh, coach, uh, going back to the beginning of the game, Detmer uh, just pulled after one inning. Uh, what was the game plan pitching wise uh, going into the day? And how do you think you executed that plan? Well, we wanted to see if he couldn't get us one time through the lineup, kind of short the game for Miller and Jaws and, you know, he was shaky in the first inning, and, you know, we were very fortunate to get off field, keep it at two. Will hits a home run in the bottom of the first to give us the momentum back, and, um, you know, it's a big ask out of Miller on one day rest, and, you know, he got us to the seventh, and Jaws did a great job behind him, and uh, that was the order in which we were going to go. Uh, went a little bit early to Bryce, but, you know, he picked me up in that spot. What did you see from Miller today that uh, allowed your team to get the victory today? Well, he was able to avoid crooked number innings with the wind blowing out in a very offensive lineup. That, that was the key. I mean, you know, we allowed them to score a couple of runs, by some gifts, and, but each and every time he minimized the damage, which was incredibly important in today's game. And then at the back end of the bullpen, uh, Jalen Joswalk comes out and gets his last few outs. What, how important was, of a performance was it from him today? Well, that's the guy that I want the ball in his hand with the game on the line, and everybody in that dugout does as well. And, you know, he, he's the heartbeat of our, our pitching staff and certainly our bullpen. The Frizzell swing is going to get all the, the uh, talk, but that seventh inning begins with a Mikey Honer double. Uh, how crucial of an at-bat was that to get your offense energized? Well, it was gigantic. I mean, uh, you know, and then for Ray Alejo to, to get back in the at-bat and, find a way to walk the same with Sartori against a really talented closer in, in Broadway uh, to set the stage for Will Frizzell. And, you know, they tried to elevate a fastball on him 2 and he was able to get to it. And, you know, certainly a big swing for our season. That Brit strikeout looked like he checked his swing. What did you see on that play? And then after that, it kind of got a little chippy. Uh, what would you, uh, how would you describe that? Uh, aspect I don't of the game? know. I, I still feel like I can, I'm a pretty good umpire from the dugout. Uh, but those guys are the best in the country at what they do. They wouldn't be in the Southeast Conference. And, you know, it was just a lot of emotion in the game. And it was a big game for both teams. And, you know, certainly the one-two coming out of each dugout was high. And that's always a fun place to be if you like baseball. And I certainly love that atmosphere and the intensity late in the game. Uh, you mentioned the intensity and the atmosphere. Do you know what uh, sparked uh, Mike Bianco's tirade, and what did you see from your perspective? I, I don't. I don't. And, you know, anytime you hit a home run, I, I can't see what's going on. 
I'm thinking about moving on to the next and the guys were excited. I don't know what happened. And, you know, coach Bianco is incredibly competitive, great coach. And, you know, I'm sure something, you know, he didn't sit well with him and I'm sure I'll talk to him early in the week and, and get an answer to that. Thank you, coach. Yeah, is that it? Hey, Rob, you mentioned a lot early about some mistakes. Well, like when you get two on and you botch up the bunt. My question is, did you ever did you feel your team was pressing at any point in this game? And then maybe, uh, you know, uh, Frizzell changed it or just Phil was just baseball? Well, I certainly hope so. I mean, we're at a point in the season where we need to press the button a little bit and, and we need to do what it takes in, in every facet of the game, albeit defensively, offensively, or on the mound. I mean, we have to press. I mean, we can't sit back and wait for the game to come to us. We see where that's gotten us, certainly. I mean, there needs to be a button press, but each and every guy, and, you know, if that comes part of the byproduct of it, so be it. But I would certainly want that rather than the alternative.